With temperatures in the high 80s, farmers brave the heat to get a look at the latest Asgro and DeKalb products at the Mason Technology Center near Mason, Michigan. The research facility gives Michigan growers results on their home soil. One thing that makes Asgro unique is our, our local testing and screening for white mold and we're able to take all of our Asgro varieties because white mold is always a concern for Michigan growers and we're able to screen all of our Asgro launches, the new launches, the things coming down the pipeline right here at Mason in a controlled environment where we're able to apply water and enforce white mold growth and screen all those products that Michigan growers will someday see. I think if I were picking one product to talk about, it would be the Extend Series beans, uh, which we will have a large launch of, of different varieties in the Extend Series beans. Extend is gonna be a very important product for Michigan because we're beginning to see a lot of resistant weeds from mare's tail to palmer amaranth. This will be a great product to combine with the Roundup Ready technology to combat those weeds. Uh, my brothers and I farm about 1,800 acres just west of Fort Wayne, so as I go through some of this, I'm going to talk about kind of how I use some of these tools on, uh, on my farm. I like coming here. It's uh, learn a lot of new things that they got coming down the pipeline and see how things actually look over over here away from our area. This improves my farm by uh, picking out better varieties that work for our ground that we have. V6, we are now going to have the fourth set that's going to have a little bit of length on them, but not much. After a morning of information on the latest beans and corn and tools to make farmers more successful, Machinery Pete gave a presentation at lunch. Well, we're just talking about trends in the used farm machinery market, wide ranging, so we're talking about late model farm equipment, uh, our values beginning to hold, which we've actually seen they have been the last 12 months or so, and that surprises a lot of people, but uh, can make a, a big effect on your decisions if you want to buy, sell, or trade. Um, and then, of course, we also talk about uh, all ages of equipment, and so what's happening with the you know, stuff that's 10, 15 years old. Uh, in good shape. That stuff is actually kind of going up in value. Um, and then there's soft spots in the market, opportunities to buy, and then there's also kind of the fun part of farm machinery, the collecting. So we talk about trends and prices on uh, what's happening there too. All in all, a banner day for farmers looking to get the most from their fields. Mm -hmm.